Trezor just announced new wallets, the Trezor Safe 5, and a few other things. I'm going to go through all of the features of the uh, new Trezor line. They have a new backup protocol, which is very interesting. I'm going to go over that as well. Let's focus on these wallets. I know you guys want to hear about these. So let's jump into the uh, Trezor Safe 5 here real quick. So um, it's got a touch screen which is um, akin to its Trezor T. So the Trezor T, you'll notice it has a touch screen, but it also has like a bezel around the edge. Whereas uh, the Trezor Safe 5 is very similar to the Trezor Safe 3, and yet I'm the, all of this area is touchscreen. The Trezor Safe 3 is not touchscreen. It relies on these two buttons for all. It's, the menu appears on this screen, but this is not a touchscreen. So in the Trezor Safe 5, we have a touchscreen. Not only a touchscreen, but a hepatic touchscreen. So it's going to give you hepatic feedback, like when you touch your phone and you feel that little bump, whatever. So, and it's color. Um, I don't know how vivid or complicated the color is. I don't think it will be able to um, display a picture like the ledger stacks, right? Although stacks only does grayscale, it's e-ink technology. Um, but this one, I think it's just that the menu stuff is in color. So we've got touchscreen, we've got hepatic, we've got color, uh, all innovations in the Trezor line, right? Excellent stuff. Right, we have a secure element um, chip embedded in this device. We have, uh, okay, pin and passphrase protected. Uh, and we also have the Bitcoin only hardware version of this, uh, which has, re you know, uh, Bitcoin only firmware. Uh, and we've got the universal, uh, which comes in a variety of colors as well. You can see from my thumbnail. So uh, we've got Trezor Suite, which has been around a while. We've got a lot of support. Now they say 9,000 plus. Now it's really easy to say 9,000 plus when you're including ERC-20 tokens because and there are literally thousands of ERC-20 tokens. But when it comes to base crypto blockchains, the Trezor does not support as many uh, blockchain um, specific blockchain uh, cryptos as the ledger. The ledger supports Polkadot and uh, the ledger supports a lot more cryptos than Trezor does. But Trezor supports Bitcoin and Ethereum and that is for most people that's really all they need. And that you know the fact that Trezor supports Ethereum uh, or EVM chains makes it very versatile, maybe not so much in Trezor Suite, but in conjunction with other wallets like Rabi and, and MetaMask, a Trezor device can support all of the other EVM chains like um, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, uh, Avalanche, Arbitrum, Optimism, base so yeah i mean the trezor is uh, has a good deal of support just not as much as the ledger but anyway uh i i shouldn't be talking about the ledger we're talking about the trezor now right so we've got a uh, very secure intuitive easy to use right i think this is the um season of interface improvements uh, the Trezor is a watershed event in the crypto interface for the Trezor line, right? So they've got the secure chip element, okay? They've got Gorilla Glass. Uh, they're open source. They're, they have a commitment to open source. Um, and this is good. Um, clear and simple wallet backup. And then they uh, and they mention here that they they have an NDA free EA, EAL six plus secure element, and this is interesting. 
uh, because uh, most secure element chips have NDAs, which is a non-disclosure agreement. It just means that you have to sign a contract saying that you will not reveal anything you learn about the technology if they share it with you. So I don't know what this means, right? I, I did a bunch of searching and tried to find out what exactly the heck are they talking about NDA-free. Um, I'm sure parts of it are still embedded and um, obfuscated, but maybe it just means they can talk about it. <laughs> I don't know. But it's better than most secure element chips, uh, transparency-wise. So that's another feature. Um, and then down here, they have they say it has a micro SD slot. And I'm like, well, what's that all about? I didn't hear anything about that. It's got a little check mark next to it. Um, I don't think the Trezor Safe 3 has a um, micro SD card slot. I don't see one. So that's kind of cool, but they didn't bring it up. So, oh, and then they have this new backup recovery 20 word now this is very interesting um let me see where they talk about that a little more yes multi-share backup now what's interesting about their new multi-share backup is that they uh they have an option to use a 20 word seed phrase now you may not be aware of this, and I really, I wasn't. I had heard it, but I was reminded when I read this that it was actually Trezor, the company that proposed BIP39 Bitcoin Improvement Protocol. The, the BIP39 BIP was proposed by Trezor. Trezor has been in the trenches in self custody for years. It's pretty interesting. But the uh, usually you have a single backup, 24 word, which is, it's, that's your only backup. You can make multiple copies of that, and you can hide them in different places, but each backup is f full access to the um, seed phrase, right? So anybody that finds any of your backups would, com would compromise your wallet. Right. Now, a multi-share backup is slightly different from a Shamir backup. The Shamir backup is also kind of a multi-piece um, multi backup that breaks up your phrase into different parts. And you could do, say, three, um, and then you only need two of three to restore. You could do five, and you only need three of five to restore. You could do seven, where you only need five of seven to restore so that if one or two of them got uh, damaged or lost, you'd still be able to reconstruct and gain access to your crypto with as long as you still had that threshold, right? As long as you still had five out of your seven, you'd still be able to restore. That was Shamir backup. Kind of complicated, uh, but this new one, the 20 word seed phrase, is uh, interesting in that if you use the 20 word seed phrase, you can start with, okay, here we go. They were talking about the difference between standard seed and Shamir backup. Uh, the enhanced backup standard allows you to set up with a single share. So you could start with a single share and then later upgrade to the multi-share. Now this is really innovative, right? A lot of people like don't wrap, can't wrap their head around this stuff, but this is really interesting that you can convert a single share backup to a multi-share backup. And then we still have those same protocols. So I can, uh, it, when I have a multi-share uh, backup, I can create seven pieces. And anyone, if someone finds one of those pieces, they won't be able to gain access to the crypto. They would have to find the threshold. So if it were a five of seven scheme, someone would have to find all five, or at least five, to gain access to the crypto. Uh, and of course, that does increase complexity, and a lot of people uh, start to falter as the backup scheme gets more complex. But this is really an innovative solution to the problem of uh, people losing their seed phrase, right? And this is one of the reasons why Ledger has their um, 
recover service. It, it also is a solution to the fact that people tend to lose their seed phrases. Right. So, uh, very innovative product, um, uh, innovative backup solutions from Trezor, um, a very interesting device. And like I said, I pre-ordered one, so um, I will have one. I will do a demo. But for all of the great features of the new Trezor Safe 5, I would be remiss if I did not point out Another service that Trezor has released in conjunction with this wallet, the Trezor Expert. So the Trezor Expert is Trezor's answer to one of the biggest problems in self-custody, which is the problem of people losing their seed phrase or mismanaging their seed phrase in some way or form. So Ledger has tried to solve this issue by introducing their Recover service, which allows people to back up their seed phrase or their basically their private key to the cloud. And this has been met with a lot of pushback from the crypto community for various reasons. So Trezor's tack on this issue is to introduce a service that allows the end user to purchase an hour-long session with a dedicated Trezor representative to guide them through the process of setting up the wallet. One of the main complaints that I get from people when dealing with cryptocurrency wallets is the lack of one-on-one -on -one personal tech support. I personally have come to accept this over the years. It's basically a manpower issue. Uh, you have to have the manpower in place to offer a service like this. And uh, most smaller companies just don't have the funds to do this. Uh, so Trezor has made uh, a pretty balanced approach. It's $99, which is a little bit steep for a lot of people. A lot of people um, just can't afford an extra $100 for a tech session. But I think that there is a sweet spot of people that uh, need this service and can afford this service to make this a truly innovative solution on Trezor's part. By offering this service, not only are they addressing the issue of user error, user private key mismanagement, but they're doing it in a way that does not really violate principles of self-custody. Sure, the end user is getting a little extra help online, but they're not really outsourcing the management of their private key to a third party. Uh, they're just getting a little extra help. So I see this as an excellent way for Trezor to address this issue and uh, help a lot of people uh, getting their wallets set up. So uh, though it's not specifically a feature of the Trezor Safe 5, it has been introduced in parallel with the Trezor Safe 5 as an add-on service that the end user can choose to purchase along with their wallet. So I think this is a really great idea and I think it's going to help a lot of people. It can help a person get their wallet set up uh, in confidence, uh, learn from experts, get that personal touch that a lot of people are lacking uh, when dealing with crypto companies, and it's basically a way to help them protect their wealth. We still have the issue of uh, people uh, not managing their seed phrase properly, but this service will give them a head start uh, that has been lacking in the past. So hopefully it, this proactive approach will help people to learn how to manage their seed phrase, the importance of the backup, the importance of not sharing it with anyone else, and can get let them hit the ground running uh, with this knowledge. Right, and as you can see, uh, you can buy your device, uh, book your session, and then uh, join in when you have your device in hand. So pretty cool. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click. That will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.